Hi everyone, welcome back to Black Cat Kitchen. I'm Daniela, and today I'm going to share with you one of my most cherished recipes from my childhood, my nonna's pastina soup. This recipe is literally three ingredients, and if you've got chicken stock on hand or you're using a stock cube, it can come together in less than 10 minutes. Growing up, my nonna used to make this whenever the weather was cold or we were sick, or we just wanted something light to eat. It fills your belly with a nice, gentle fullness so that you don't feel overwhelmed when you're already under the weather. You'll find a list of ingredients and measurements in the description below. Because I always have to be a little bit extra, I'm going to show you how to make a chicken stock using a chicken carcass and leftover vegetables. My nonna would often make this with a chicken stock cube in a pinch, so don't feel like you have to make the stock if you haven't got time. Into our stock pot goes our carcass from our roast chicken, two carrots that I haven't peeled, I've just washed, a couple of stalks of celery, and I like to use the hearts of the celery because those leaves have such great flavor. A frozen tomato that I picked from my garden, and a few fresh ones that I've just washed up, and about a head of garlic. Whatever might be going to waste in the fridge or isn't going to be used is perfect to throw in this stock, so you can use onions or herbs, anything that you like. You'll want to fill up the pot with water until all of the contents have been covered. Once the chicken carcass has been covered, that's plenty of water. We'll add in a few teaspoons of salt to start, and then if it needs more seasoning later, we can always add more in. Turn your pot onto high. Set your lid on a jar so that it holds in some of that heat until it comes to a simmer. Once you're starting to see those bubbles, turn it to medium low. You need to let this cook for at least an hour, but I would recommend up to four for the best flavor. Now that all of the flavor has been extracted from the chicken and the vegetables, we're going to strain out our stock. I like to pour mine through a fine mesh sieve. If you haven't got one, you can use a large hold colander. Just line it with some cheesecloth so that it picks up any of the bits that might fall through the holes. Once your stock is finished, you can let it cool completely and store it in the freezer for a rainy day. But I'm going to show you how to make one portion of pastina soup. To our saucepan goes 350 milliliters of our chicken stock. You can also just use vegetable stock if you want to keep this vegetarian. Once your stock is boiling, add in 50 grams of Stellina pasta. Pastina just means little pasta, so really you can substitute any small pasta that you can find. And if you can't find pastina, just grab a few strands of spaghetti and crush them up until they're in tiny little bits. I like the star because that's how my nonna used to make it. We're going to let this cook according to the package. Mine takes about six minutes. Make sure to continuously stir your pastina so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Grate a few tablespoons of Parmigiano Reggiano. Once your pasta is cooked, turn off the heat and slowly start to sprinkle in some of that cheese so that your pasta becomes nice and creamy. I like to top mine with a little bit of parsley and another grating of fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, and that is comfort in a bowl. I'd recommend only making as much pastina as you're going to eat. The pastina will absorb all of the chicken stock if you don't eat it straight away, and that will lead to a dry, less comforting dish. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this recipe has brought as much comfort to you as it does to me. If you're looking for another one of my Nana's great recipes, check out me and my mom making her meatballs here. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you like to eat when you're sick? See you in the next video.